Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Expressive Tone TV, convey your thoughts and feelings to the world. Guys, wow, Peter Obi was in Benin to support the gubernatorial candidate of, you know, Labour Party in a Edo State. He was in Benin last weekend and he said a lot of things. You need to see the love, you need to see the crowd, you need to see people when you enter Benin everywhere close. Everywhere jam, no road to pass. Hold up for hours. You see, you see the love. Now, so you tell the no say yes, this person is loved by the people. And he also promised us that a new Nigeria is possible. In talk, say all those things where they talk, make we not believe them. Make we know they believe all those things. Say now, so you won't merge with a uh, article, you won't merge with a uh, one you won't merge with one place. They say, make we not believe them. Say, in go change this country by the grace of god so guys i don't want to talk too much on this video i want to say thank you to my returning viewers my returning subscribers if you never subscribe to my channel i say i beg subscribe now god now go bless you i beg i take god name take beg you subscribe to the channel so that every time i drop video you will be the first to know press the notification bell like the video this is youtube law when you like the video youtube will help us to share the video so that those will never know go know those will never year go here they're gonna say yes a new nigeria is still possible i bet watch video check labor party for whatever labor party for whatever mama papa Le mama papa bikini labor party our chairman Chairman and my own dear brother, the state chairman and the executive, our very dear aspirants, ownership aspirants, and all the dignitaries, local government aspirants, and most importantly, you, you the members of our party and all that is involved in this struggle. You are the most important. Labour Party! When Chairman was telling, talking to you why this election is important, I will tell you why it's important and even tell you my own experience as governor. Local government is the nearest to the people. Local government is supposed to be the root for ensuring development. It is a system that is closer to the people and the three most critical areas of development are health, it is in the local government through the primary health care. Number two is education. It is through the local government. Because when you talk about the education, you talk about basic education, which is primary and secondary, is in the local government. And pulling people out of poverty. As you know, today in Nigeria, there's mass poverty. And that more poverty is in the local government. So for the system to work in countries that have developed well, it is the local government, the sub-national, which is the state, and the central government. So the central government will come through the sub-national to the local government. So every de development is domiciled in the local government and that is why it is critical that you be, know about local government as governor i was prevented by all of legal and litigation from conducting local government election for over six years 
but I can tell you one thing we still use the money belonging to local government in the local government system and I can say it here and I want all of you to take it go and look and verify all the money that came to local government in Anambra State whether anyone is missing if you go to every local government we were number one in education because we use the money of the state and local government in the local government we did very well in health because we use the money of the local government and the state in the local government our primary health care was one of the best we did well in pulling people out of poverty because if you go to Baku, go to all those who were in charge of fighting poverty when I was in government, they will tell you that Anambra State is number one. Go to development agencies. When we were in government, they will tell you that Anambra State paid its capital funding before any state in Nigeria. And what I'm telling you is on tape. Go and verify it. No state in Nigeria, no state in Nigeria paid this catapult funding to any development agency before Anambra State. Go to UNICEF, go to UNDP, go to all of them, they will tell you, European Union, everybody, we paid before everybody. And we made sure, and to prove that fact, we were number one in Millennium Development Goal which is the only means of measuring development and this is not inside the local government system. So we are here today, I told chairman, I said chairman, when is the local government election? I was informed by one of the aspirants, I said chairman we must go and support them. Chairman we have to go and be with them. Chairman we must find a way, even if we don't have anything, we must find a way to ensure that they participate, even if it's one one night, I will give them, because they will succeed. And that's why we're here. So we are not just here to talk. We will support them with everything, even when we are coming here. And then, Chairman, we will go back and look for whatever we can do to support them. We must support them. That's what we did. We are equal that. And I joined the chairman in pleading, yes, I know before now, governors, and I tell people, people will say to me, Peter, when you were there, I said when I was there, things were better. Today, trouble day, today we have a day. So today, best no fit shop to enter Moto Nawala. So things are changed. And what will they say? We say, today it must be different. Government must account for public money. Across Nigeria, people are hungry. Today, across Nigeria, people are dying. People are not sure their children will go to school. So things don't change. And we are saying that those in government must also change and do the right thing. People have suffered enough in this country. That suffering must end. We must start now pulling people out of poverty. If we don't, I'm worried that one day, even those of us in government will wake up. What do we go see? We're not going to agree. On. Because we must now. So, those of you who are contesting, go and tell the people what you will do. And whatever you say, if you succeed, do it. No more profits and fail. I kept telling chairman, I 
get the lead chairman when we were campaigning. I said, chairman. I get the lead chairman when we were campaigning. Chairman, I'm campaigning to be president. Because I can say it any day, I will solve the problem of Nigeria. can be solved and that is what we were saying and I got you to say it I'm prepared for it and I want you to be prepared for it I want you to be sure what you're promising time for fake promise have passed in this country we don't want anybody to promise or fake thing now anything you promise you must deliver Labour Party Labour Party Please go and look for a way to support them We are supporting them That's why we are here and everything Labour Party will continue to grow We will continue to grow stronger, better, everything Half of the things you are hearing everywhere is rumour don't listen to them. We are committed to building a better and a new Nigeria where we will move Nigeria from consumption to... Thank you and God bless all of you.